guys welcome back to my channel so looking a little dusty crusty today um but i have good reason for that because obviously you guys know a tutorial is here because i'm not gonna look like this on camera all the time so i am long overdue for a color um i cut my hair about two to three weeks ago i chopped it down did a fresh relaxer and um it is time to get this back together i still i do have some a little bit of color there but not a whole lot so it's time to get it together um i remember saying that i would never do color on my channel um but i think it's time it's time because i really want to show everyone the ins and outs of it and how serious it is and why you shouldn't do it at home uh, now if you take this video and you do it at home it's on you it's not on me i am not liable for anything this is on you but i want to break down the process you know why i do certain things whatnot um and how to have healthy hair color and also relaxer so all right first my hair is two weeks, say two. Oh my God, it's gonna be a lot of repeat after me's because I want y'all to get this. Because what y'all like to do is y'all like to skip past things on YouTube. Y'all don't think we see that. We see when you skip past or you don't watch the whole video. We see it. Y'all like to skip past things. My hair is two weeks post relaxer. Say two weeks post relaxer. That is the recommended time to do a hair color after a relaxer. So hair color after a fresh relaxer. Do not color your hair first and then do a relaxer because it's not gonna be enough new growth. Relax first, then color. Relax first, then color. So two weeks or two to three weeks post relaxer, you can do your color. So that's what I'm doing today. Okay. So another thing that I see people do is they do not properly uh, cake themselves up. I understand y'all got old t-shirts and stuff, but it's about your skin too, man. It's about your skin. Protect your skin. Protect everything. So, yeah. There we go. Alright, so today I am literally just coloring the top of my hair. I'm not doing the whole thing. I so desperately want to do the whole thing, but I'm not because I'm gonna be good. Um, the sides and back of my hair have been kind of resistant since I um, <clears throat> had my daughter. So it's I've been having to relax the sides and back probably a little quicker or more often. So with that, I don't wanna do a full color and then put relaxer on top of it and whatnot. So I'm just gonna add the blue to the top. Today I'm using a new lightener. Um, I've used Kiss Colors before, but I've never used their, their powder lightener, so I'm using that. And then um, this is a double step process. So you lighten first, then you add. This is the blue that I use. This is the Kiss Colors um, Midnight Blue. So we're going to, um, and then honestly, I don't really color my hair really neat. Like I said, it's, I'm doing the top and it's gonna be like kind of all over the place, but you know, it looks good in the end. So let's get to it. When it comes to the lightener, the powder lightener, you follow the instructions on the box are on the tub so however much you need you follow the instructions based off of that um, some people use a scale especially in the salon to weigh the color to make sure that you're doing what you need to do so we got our gloves one thing that i do with my hair is the very front i don't color it because i don't want that um I just, I, I guess I just, I, I want that difference of color in the hairline. I don't want like a bright blue hairline, so. And then I have some postpartum shedding. So I'm being, being very mindful of 
you know, the front of my hair. That's a re one, another reason why I am doing just the front, I mean the top, because yeah, just, you know, being mindful. So. All right, let's get to it. So, like I said, I'm just, it's not gonna be neat for me at all. Starting on the, the ends. marinate for a few I am going to pump because mom duty calls and I'll be back all right so really quick before I rinse it out this is what we're working with just to show y'all so it looks like this with the pink and the you know whatnot because I actually it still has blue residue on my hair and um, you know, it even with semi-permanent uh, colors, you still have to, there, there leaves a residue on the hair. So either you'll have to strip the hair or you'll just have to grow it out. So when you say, oh, I got a color a few months ago, it's still a residue on your hair for the most part. So this is my residue, which I'm fine with because I'm just gonna throw blue on top of it. So let's go rinse it out. All right, guys, hair is rinsed. Um, Hair is rinsed and we're about to put the blue on. So, more gloves. And then, like I said, this is the blue that I use. I use Kiss Colors Semi Permanent Hair Color. Um, just a quick difference between permanent, semi permanent, and like demi. Um, permanent is permanent, it changes your hair follicles. So, like, this is permanent. This is permanent, bleach is permanent, permanent hair color. If it says permanent, it's changing your hair follicles, it's permanent. Um, Semi-permanent is just a, um, it goes on top. So basically it, it, it coats the hair, um, but it's semi. So it doesn't like, let's say with permanent, you can lighten, you can lift, you can change. Semi-permanent is just, it goes on top, but it does coat the hair follicle. And hence, when I said, um, it'll you'll have a residue, you'll have a residue with semi. Uh, demi is a little more intense than semi-permanent. Um, and then there are rinses, like temporary rinses, which um, that is lower than semi. And temporary rinses is just that, it is a temporary rinse. So when people ask me if they can get blue by just putting the blue on top of their hair, no ma'am, you cannot, Ooh, excuse me. You cannot, you have to do a double process in order for you to have intense blue, especially. So we have the blue and we're going to just put it on. gonna put a cap on this and let it process or you don't have to put a cap on it actually let it process for about 15 minutes or so you shouldn't get that blue off of your hair one thing I didn't do was I did not base my hairline with anything but see that's what I'm talking about stylists we just do stuff random so but it'll come off 
let this process a little bit and we'll rinse it out. All right, guys, finally back. Hair is blue. We're about to get into this mold. So, this bright, y'all. That is bright. But I like it. So, yeah, so let's get into this mold. Um, yeah, let's get into this mold real quick. All right, guys, so this is the final result of the blue. Just getting the dye residue off of my hairline, which happens when I mold my hair. But yeah, this is the full process. All I'm about to do now is you guys know I wear my hair really simple so i'm literally going to throw some oil on it throw some wax and we are done we are done and my color i usually i, I will have to refresh the blue because like i said it's semi-permanent so it does rinse out and it will fade um so so i um so when I shampoo it, sometimes it'll fade a little lighter than I would want to. So what I do is I just put the blue on top. It does not affect the hair. It does not damage the hair or anything like that because it's semi-permanent. It's just coating on going on top. Um, so yeah. And then this, like the whole process that I did today, I probably won't do that again until a few months from now. Like, because until it grows out, until I cut it off. Um, so it'll be a few months before I do this whole thing again.
All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video really helped you guys breaking down the whole color process, what it takes and whatnot. Um, love you guys so much. Thank you again for tuning in and I will see y'all in my next tutorial.